In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Canva to create a landing page for free. This video will show you step by step what you need to do. I'll show you some features that you can use to create your landing page. I'll show you how you can edit from a template. And then I'll also show you how you can publish your website for free in around 10 minutes. So let's jump into the tutorial. So what you want to do is you'll first want to go to canva.com. Once you're here, you then want to click on this text box and you just want to type in here landing page. So type in here landing page and you should then see 30,000 different templates that you can use. So if you go to see all, you'll then be able to filter through these and just choose one that you like. Now, most of you are probably going to be using Canva free. So if you go to all filters and then scroll down, you can filter these out. So it only shows you the free ones. So click on free, then click apply. And then you've still got 10,000 templates to choose from here. Now, this is going to now depend on what kind of aesthetic you're after. What landing page you're trying to create? Are you trying to create here a landing page or more of a website? Are you trying to sell something? Are you trying to inform people about your brand? There's loads of different angles I could go with this video. So I'll just show you how you can choose a template, how you can then edit that template and we'll go from there. So I'll edit here this template here, although you can scroll down and find one which works for you and your brand. I'm going to go with this template. So click on whichever one you want, then click on customize this template. Then it will open up the Canva editor where you can then edit this template. You can add text, you can add elements, you can edit elements which are already on the website. If you've ever used Canva before, this just works exactly like it would do if you're editing a photo. So you can go ahead and edit this text here. So maybe I want to type here Bradley Harrison and then I'll put here search based method. Now let's pretend here that I'm selling a product. So I'm going to highlight this text and we'll bring the font down a little bit. And if you highlight your text, you've got all of your text editors here. So we can increase and decrease font. We can change the color, make some text bold, italic, underline. You've got the center in here with the alignment. So maybe I want to highlight just Bradley Harrison, which is my name. And I'll just make that bold. And I'll just bring this down a little bit. And you can also resize this and you can change the positioning. Now I'm going to highlight search based method. And I'm going to bring this sizing all the way down. So we can keep that on one line. So that looks good to me. And then I'll change this search based method font and we'll go ahead and change this to this one here. And again, you can customize this however you want. That is looking decent to me. I'm not great with typography, but that looks all right. I'm going to just change the line spacing so they're not so close together. Now you can do all of this and customize all of this and edit it so it works for your website and your brand. So now we've got this text edited. I'm going to bring this down and we can also edit this text here. You've also got on this template, you've got an image. You can go ahead and click on the image, click edit image. And whether you've got your image or Canva's image in here, you can adjust things like the brightness filters. You can add smart mockups and also enhance these images. Now, if you just want to remove this image completely and add in your own, that's fine. You can click backspace or delete on the keyboard and then that will delete that image. From here, you can go to uploads and you can then upload your own media or images or even videos to your Canva website. I've already got an image of myself here, which I'm just going to add to the website and kind of like center this and it's going to snap to the area. So it's quite easy to like kind of like center things and get things where they need to be inside of Canva. So here we've got a downwards arrow, which I'm just going to click on and delete. And you've also then got a button. Now, if I wanted to resize this, it's just going to resize the rectangle. So what I would have to do is click on the text, then hold shift and then click on the rectangle. And then I can go ahead and group this. And then once I've grouped this button, we can now resize it and it's going to resize both the text and the button. And maybe we want to put this button here and maybe I want to say here buy now because I'm selling a course. Remember now you might be promoting like a product. You might be sending people to a video, to social media. So you can go ahead and link to anything here. So if I wanted to link, once I've resized this, I can click on group, then I can click on the three dots and then link. And I could probably link to like a PayPal checkout page if I had my own product. I don't have a PayPal checkout page set up, so I'm just gonna redirect here to Google. Obviously you can redirect to wherever you want. I'm just gonna redirect to Google. You can also redirect to new pages, which you can go ahead and set up in a minute and I'll show you how. So now we've added that link. Now this button will redirect to Google because I've just entered in that link. 
Now I accidentally added a page earlier. If I wanted to delete that page, I could just go ahead and delete it by going to this delete button here. Now, if I wanted to add a new page, we can go to add page here, which will then add a page. Alternatively, what I recommend you do, if you wanna keep this same branding, if you go here to duplicate page, it's gonna duplicate the same page. And obviously you don't want the same content, but maybe you want the same font, the same background and the same branding. So you can kind of like edit this page and delete what you don't want and but keep the same branding that you do want. So maybe obviously you don't want this text anymore, but you might wanna say here, here's why you should buy my product. And then maybe we need another image. And obviously you can add the media that you need to and create the perfect website which works for you and your brand. Now, whether you're creating a one page website or a multiple page website, I'd keep the branding consistent throughout the whole website. You can add as many elements as you want. I would recommend though you pick a template which allows you to just go ahead and like swap in elements. If you choose a very basic template, then you're going to have to do a lot of the work manually. Whereas if you choose like a really nice professional looking template with a lot of elements in it, you can just go ahead and swap out the Canva elements with your own elements, if that makes sense. I've just chosen a very simple one just to show you how it works. Now you can preview this. If you go to preview at the top, you can preview this on computer and also mobile. Now it's important to note that a lot of your traffic will probably come from mobile in 2024. So customize it for mobile as well and make sure it looks good. Just double check that the button works. So if I click buy now, it should redirect to Google, which it does. Now, if I'm happy with my website, we can go to publish website in the top right, and then we can customize these here. So these settings are going to essentially be your navigation settings, which I would leave on default, and your domain settings. So if you've got a custom domain, you can connect it to your website. I've created multiple videos on connecting a custom domain. I'm gonna, however, go with a free domain for this video, so we'll then continue through this. Now, if you click here on this edit button, you're then editing what's gonna be shown in the tab. So maybe I want to type here, Bradley Harrison search based method. We can then also edit the page URL. So it says here, this page URL is not available. So I'll just go ahead and add a one to it. And your page description is gonna be what's shown on Google. If you go to advanced settings, you can enable whether you want this to show in the Google search engines and password protect it if you want. I'm not sure why you'd wanna do that. And then link preview, this is what it's gonna look like when people share it on social media. Link preview is gonna be this preview mode here. You can see you've got your name of your website, which is gonna show in the preview. Once you're happy with all of that, click publish. And it's then going to prepare your website and upload it to the internet. Canva is gonna host this for free and you'll see you'll have a very professional looking landing page or website that you've created for free. So the default domain is gonna be my.canva.site. Click visit website and here you can see your website with the text. You've got your images, you've got the buttons which redirect to the right place. If people scroll down, you've got your other pages. You can customize this however you want. You can go as simple or as advanced as you want. And the only watermark on the free plan is gonna be this here where it says designed with Canva. So that was a quick tutorial on how you can create a landing page with Canva. Hope that video did help you out. Let me know in the comment section below if it did.